Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. Today I am going to describe the model of uh, histology of GIT. So, in this model you can see uh, different parts of the uh, tubular part of the GIT. This part is esophagus, then the stomach, then the small intestine and then the large intestine. So, in this section you can see first that this is the mucosa and mucosa consists of the epithelium, the lamina propria and the muscularis mucosa. In case of the uh, esophagus, the epithelium is a stratified squamous non-keratinized and uh, just beneath epithelium there is a small amount of loose connective tissue called the lamina propria and beneath the connective tissue there is muscularis mucosae. Then the next layer is submucosa which in case of esophagus contain esophageal glands proper and also this submucosa is a moderately dense irregular connective tissue containing blood vessels nymphatics as well. The third layer uh, in uh, esophagus is muscularis externa and this muscularis externa consists of inner circularly arranged smooth muscle and outer longitudinally arranged smooth muscle layer. And in this section you can uh, see that the circularly arranged smooth muscle cells are present in cross section and longitudinally arranged smooth muscle cells are present in the, uh, uh, they are present uh, in parallel to the long axis of the esophagus. So, if the section is taken longitudinally, you can see complete section of the longitudinal layer and if the section is taken at the transfer, uh, transversely, you can see the circularly arranged muscles as a complete layer and the cross section of the uh, longitudinally arranged smooth muscle layer. Outer to this muscularis externa is the uh, adventitia in case of esophagus, it is adventitia because esophagus present in the, uh, uh, present in the uh, chest cavity, passing through the chest cavity it is not covered by the peritoneum except in the lo lowest uh, 2 centimeter which is in the abdominal cavity. Next part is the um, esophagus, you can see the abrupt change of the epithelium from stratified squamous to simple columnar epithelium and this simple columnar epithelium show pits, uh, it invaginates inwards to form the glands as well. So, the pits are present which is a characteristic feature of the stomach, you can see also pits in this section over here. Beneath epithelium there is the connective tissue which is called lamina propria which contains nerves, lymphatics and the blood vessels as well as then the muscularis uh, mucosae. Next to the mucosa is a submucosa which contains a moderately dense connective tissue containing blood vessels, nerves, lymphatics and then the muscularis externa. Muscularis externa in case of stomach usually consists of the three layers and obliquely arranged smooth muscle layer is also uh, present and these three layer in intermingle with each other. So, you cannot clearly differentiate between the layers. Outer to muscularis externa is serosa which is the smaller amount of the connective tissue covered by the mesothelium. The third part is the a small intestine and in this small intestine you can see the mucosa in thrown into folds forming the villi and this mucosa, this epithelium invaginates inwards to form the intestinal glands called crypts of Leberkin and the, you can also see the villi on the naked eye examination as well. Beneath epithelium there is a connective tissue which contain lymphatics, uh, lymphatic capillary also present over here not shown in this model. Also the uh, blood vessels uh, and the uh, muco uh, mucosal glands, the intestinal glands are present in this section which are not shown over here. Then the muscularis mucosae which consists of the circularly arranged uh, smooth muscle cells. Outer to this mucosa is the submucosa again moderately dense connective tissue and the then the uh, muscularis externa consists of inner circularly arranged and outer longitudinally arranged smooth muscle layer. So, you can see in the cross section as well that in transverse section the circularly arranged smooth muscle uh, are present and they are parallel to the long axis of the cross section and the longitudinal smooth muscles are present in cut section, they are cut in the cross section while in oblique section you can see cut section of the smooth muscles which are circular and the complete section of the longitudinally arranged smooth muscle cells. Outer to this is again the serosa and this serosa is the loose connective tissue containing blood vessels, lymphatics covered by the mesothelium. The fourth part of the tubular part of the GIT is the uh, 